Sorry about the lighting on this. All right, I've begun now on this hutch. I posted something earlier about a desk that I bought with hutch. I took the very nice, thick, expensive backing off the back. A really nice piece of Luan. Excuse the mess, this is my work area. Most people out there would swear that this was real wood. Now, I started sanding it, so, oh, excuse that. But I'm going to show y'all what I learned the hard way in my store. Do you know how humiliating it is to have a store? And I did sell used goods whenever it came to the furniture. Um, and how many times I argued with people and said, that's real wood, that's real wood, until I was shown. You know how you can tell most times? You literally have to take it apart. That looks like real wood, doesn't it? Real wood. And that expensive Luan or whatever it is, sheeting was on the back of it. You look at that and you say, okay, real wood, real wood, real wood. All right, and here's the clincher. Just below that is this. You know what that is? You know what that is? That's particle board. Pressed wood. So, they go to all this trouble to make something. That literally is where it changes. And they faked it up top with a veneer. Uh, that almost looks like a brush-on type finish on it. But then all of a sudden, that same piece, that's particle board. All right, now I said that not to make anybody look ridiculous or to call. Okay, that's out of focus. Sorry about that. This particular piece was made by Stanley, which Stanley is made in America. That's made in North Carolina. It's good furniture. I will say this. Some people have a misconception about particle board. If you live in a high humidity place or near the water, don't get particle board. But literally, that is real wood. It's just sawdust or shavings compressed together with glue and water. If you live in a place that this particle board, and I, I, a lot of your furniture is particle board. I'm sorry, I hate to tell you, but it's true. I learned that, like I said, in my store, the hard way. If you live in a situation to where you're going to have problems with having the particle board furniture, you've got more problems than just the furniture because this particle board will last pretty much forever unless somebody breaks it or unless it gets wet, which means if you have a problem with the particle board, you've got a leak in your house or you have a lot of humidity coming in, you have other problems. You have other problems to worry about than whether you have a piece of particle board furniture. So there you go. There's that little lesson. And there's nothing... Particle board gets a bad rap. Although, now I'm going to tell you, it really irks me that some of these name brand companies will put out something and they'll even say on there it's real wood well it is it is real wood particle board is real wood and they've kind of done themselves a disservice by making really cheap furniture with what most of us call subpar material and it'll be name brands that, that you all know the only piece I've never found to have press board or particle board is Ethan Allen but now I haven't had a store in five years so they may do it too but I'm telling you the name brands I can't even think of all of them Bassett this is Stanley um, I guarantee you they've got this right here it's fake they're faking it so anyway there you go love you guys bye